bring it back. Hi guys, what's going on? I'm Evo Loz, and today we are back with another episode of Total War Arena. So, I am currently on tier 3 and we are playing as the Ascensi. I've got three uh, close combat infantry units playing in the game at the moment. Um, they are fully upgraded in terms of their uh, equipment and our commander is near at level 4 and will soon be heading up to the Hastati. So, let's hop straight into battle. So, we're just about to load into the Battle of Salernum. We've been placed in quite a high tier battle here. Um, we're only tier 3 and we're against, against sort of tier 4s, even some tier 5s making it into the battle. So this is going to be quite a hard one. Um, sort of a bit of a close up city map uh, to the south where I think I'm planning on making most of my stand. Um, I've got some tier 4 people with us. My nervousness about going out too much into the open is sort of enemy archers. I can sort of keep it in closer quarters and might be a little bit safer. And we have got some archers with us so hopefully we'll be okay. Um, where's everyone else placed? We don't yet know. A couple of seconds before we spawn in. The enemy base or kill all enemy so, uh, I think first things first, we're going to move up to this front down here, see what we can get visual on. Then we're moving up with archers and sort of like a, a pikeman militia or something like that, playing as the Greeks. So, obviously, being a lower tier. I really want to avoid getting involved in any sort of major frontal engagements with heavier enemy infantry because that is just going to be fights I am going to lose. Um, we've got friendly uh, heavy pikemen and some Hastati, I think, moving around um, to the north of the city while we're down here in the south. I'm not sure how far up the enemy infantry are going to be able to move. There's some enemy cavalry there. But I suspect they're just scouting as they pull back away. Yep, they have. So we'll continue to move up. There's some very high tier uh, enemy principes. Sort of a, a tier 5 heavy Roman infantry. Which are now sheltering themselves from missile bombardment. Um, for the moment there's no need for us to make any moves. I don't think, since we're just getting missile free missile shots onto them. Even though it's not doing a great deal of damage, because they're just all in testudo formation. Let me move up a little bit more to cover these archers. They're sending their pikemen round to the bottom. Um, and the infantry are engaging. So we're going to advance forwards. My worry is if this is the only player down here or if there's actually more players and we just can't yet see them. Uh, we certainly won't commit both infantry divisions, I don't think. Let's have some light pillars at their cavalry if we can. Now we're going to try and manoeuvre one of our light infantry round to the side flank of theirs. And then we'll move up and plow into the back of their cavalry because their cavalry just plowed into me. Um, so it's their cavalry we really want to deal with, they're the main problem. Um, our friendly archers are probably currently doing more harm than good at the moment because their cavalry are just running right through my friendly troops. Although their cavalry, considering they're two tiers higher than me, are also taking a reasonable amount of casualties as well. So, um, well, we're pretty committed at the moment, nothing else we can do, we just have to wait and see how this pans out. Um, we may struggle to beat their infantry here, although it looks like our friendly team here are going to beat these principes over here, and then should hopefully be able to come and assist with these guys. Looks like I'm going to basically use a, lose a unit and have two remaining half health units. Um, oh, could have been we're only tier 3, we're doing a fair job against these cavalry, which have sort of been forcibly engaged. There we go, they've bitten them, so I need these to quickly come straight back into the back of these people, really. Oh, no, they're going to leave me to try and fight on, on my own. I'm not sure why they've done that, really. Oh, there we go, here's... 
bit of reinforcements and some reinforcing friendly cavalry. So we lost one complete unit, one unit's down at half health and one unit's down at about third health. Pretty heavy casualties there. Try and kill these remaining, there we go, they've routed now, that'll be the end of them. Excellent, okay, so that's all those enemy units there dealt with. So let's quickly reform, see what we've got left. Not a lot is the answer, basically. So there's um, enemy archers, enemy cavalry down there. Um, or we can push down this road here, which is what I think we're going to do. See if we can assist with this fight starting to develop over here. All in all, we are currently losing 1300 to 1600, so we could end up being in trouble here. Let's see if we can get make any ground on these enemy cavalry that are engaged with their archers and swordsmen down here. Um, I think they're sort of splitting off by the looks of it. Both sides have agreed to <laughs> cease the engagement. Um, I'm going to throw some, we'll throw some pillars at these cavalry. We'll just charge in and assist. So we're committed to an engagement now. They have got some archers behind us. Um, we're sort of inflicting as many. Looks like we are pulling back. So I'll commit to the pullback considering we are archer them at the moment. I probably shouldn't have uh, committed to that engagement in the first place. Let's return to safety for now, since we have more archers than they do, although they have one complete unit of archers down here. Uh, so I'm trying to keep a reasonable amount of situational awareness as to what's going on. Uh, the problem is our numbers are just rapidly deteriorating. I could try and get round the back of them. Let's do that, maybe. Um, I suspect by the time I actually accomplish this, though, the game will be pretty much finished, but... Given uh, we're not in any real fighting strength and we're not going to be able to contribute anything, we might as well try and see if we can sneak up or... Uh, ah. Oh, look at that. War dogs! <laughs> They've put war dogs in against the enemy archers, which have proved to be uh, very effective by the looks of it. So I'm still going to carry on with this flanking move up around here. Looks like the war dogs have largely dealt with the enemy archers and are now ploughing into the back of the enemy pikemen and they're going to rout, which is excellent. So it looks like we've played it fairly well in the city, which has been good, but we are struggling out more in the countryside. Though we still have um, some high tier barbarian infantry, um, so that may yet pull through. I'm going to keep pushing up to the edge. Try and get round behind these currently routing um, Sensei infantry, Roman infantry, same tier as me. Um, looking to get an engagement, but these people are pulling back, which is probably quite wise. Some enemy archers there on the run from the unit of Phalanx, and these guys are going to get run through. This is where cavalry come into their own mopping up on little units like that um, where they're not capable of defending themselves okay so i'll form a booth line here i've got to watch out they have got a catapult somewhere around on the map something to be wary wary of um i'm now getting they're coming towards me so i'm inclined to back off slightly until the hastati turn up Because um, I want the Hastati to deal with the engagement, not me. They threw their pillars at me, but it wasn't particularly successful. Much more successful, uh, friendly. Uh, so, so high tier, tier 5 cavalry there. Um, i also got to be wary of uh, artillery balls from their catapults. Trying to keep the movement going. They seem to be backing out of the situation. Oh dear. Uh, cavalry has managed to take advantage of the archers. So they are making good use of cavalry there. See, so 
There's quite a few enemies now amassed in front of us. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Oh, they've lured me in nicely there. Yes, they uh, played that pretty well. Um, they sort of uh, they lured their cavalry, lured me in. I pounced and attacked, and then uh, wasn't able to take advantage of it. See if we can inflict a little bit of damage onto some of their cavalry. Try and engage them with the infantry. Um, they're using some of their their power up boosts. They're pretty heavily slaughtering our infantry. Not a fight we're going to win, but if I can inflict some damage to the cavalry, then better than nothing. Although here come the reinforcements by the look of it, and then they'll really have me. There's Germanicus fighting on valiantly to the end. Gonna be like my last man alive, I think. Yes, yeah, not, not didn't inflict a great deal of damage, but they are two tiers higher than me, so you know we can only really expect to try and uh, hinder or slow them rather than actually really deal them any any damaging blows. Uh, two people left alive, Germanicus is dead, and the last man valiantly fighting on uh, on his own. Oh, is it even an enemy? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, is he still alive? Oh, there he is, he's still alive. Wow. Surely he should be dead soon. Well, he's certainly done a good job of holding up their enemy... Uh, one health, he's got one hit point. <laughs> Fight on, man. Oh, there he goes. Well, I think we gave that a fair shot. Uh, that was a pretty close fought battle, 152 to 500. I wouldn't wouldn't say that was a, you know, it was not a shocking defeat. Um, the enemy did quite well, made use of their high tier cavalry quite effectively. You know, I, I might do a guide on cavalry play. I was thinking about, um, often you see people using cavalry in heavy attacks, in, in engagements and frontal attacks against enemy infantry and that really isn't their purpose the enemy cavalry you know really sh cavalry should be used for working the flanks targeting uh, low-in or vulnerable groups of archers and artillery and using uh, the flanks to come in behind uh, two, two infantry units that are already engaged and that's where they really come into their own well I hope you've enjoyed this video guys it didn't quite go exactly to plan we can have a quick look at the results see how much damage we did You've got to bear in mind that um, obviously I was the lowest tier in this battle, so that certainly hasn't helped it. But I think we gave a fair performance given how sort of disadvantaged we were. Let's have a quick look at the scores. Heading towards level 4 now. Good amount of experience on each of the units. Uh, we only killed 55 people for our deaths, but we were still ranked fairly highly. Um, yes, we shall see. Hopefully in future battles we'll get slightly better ranking and we can do a bit more damage and kills. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Thanks guys, we shall see you on the next one.